The transition between turning your high handicap into a low handicap is all about the process. Let's find out how, and let's do it now. You see, now the idea of lowering your handicap is something that potentially most golfers really want to do, really aspire to do, really want to get as low as you physically can. Physically? Yeah. Hi everyone, my name's James Robinson and on this channel I bring you guys daily golf related content and I would love it if you hit that subscribe button so that I can be a part of your journey to hopefully raise your game, lower your handicap, but really just enjoy your golf more. In today's video, I'm gonna cover the process of lowering your handicap from potentially a starting handicap of 28, 54, 36, right the way down to scratch golf. Because isn't that what we ultimately all aspire to do? Don't we all aspire to get down to scratch, to get as good at golf as we can? And when you get to scratch, to get to plus figures and get to minus figures and just be the best golfer we can be. Or do we not aspire to that? Who here just aspires to enjoy golf, get to a handicap of about 18, 20, 25, go out and have fun with the friends, go out and have fun with the family and just go and have some fun golf. Be good. Guys, so that you can best help me understand you to help your game, please hit those comments below and let me know. What is your current handicap? What is your playing handicap? Do you have a handicap? Is it a Kongu handicap? Is it a USGA handicap? Is it just a friendly, sociable society handicap? Then I want you to let me know what your ambitions are. What do you want your handicap to be? What is the ultimate goal? Do you want to get to scratch or do you really not care? See, as always with my content, this video has stemmed from a couple of lessons that I've done, well, a lot of lessons that I've done over the past few weeks, months, and even years. People will come to me and the first question that I always ask in a lesson is what would you like to achieve from this lesson? Which I guess is a fair point, right? If you take your car into a garage, the mechanic's gonna say, what would you like me to do with your car? And yes, a lot of the time, the answer to that is I want to improve my golf. I want to be a better golfer. I just want to get better at golf. That did take a lovely skip, eventually. Yeah. And once they've answered that question, and they've told me that all they want to do is improve the golf and get better, that's then my job to go and watch them playing, go and watch them practicing, see what they're good at, see what they're bad at, and see just how good they can potentially get. But sometimes, sometimes the answer's not I want to improve my golf, it's I want to lower my handicap. Yeah which you may think are the same thing, but they're not. Go, go, go! Oh. Yeah. Hit it. You see, a couple of times in lessons, I've been teaching people, and I'll ask the same question, what would you like to achieve from this lesson? And the thing that people say is, I want to get down to scratch. I want to complete golf. I want to get down to zero handicap. No shots from the course whatsoever. And for me, that's great. I don't mind that. I quite like it when people are ambitious. I like it when they know what they want to achieve. I like it when they set themselves goals. But this is where the title of the video comes in. This is where the process of lowering your handicap comes in. If you go to someone and say, I'm off 25, I'm off 20, and I want to get to scratch. That is brilliant. It's so good that you have that confidence that you think that's what you could potentially achieve. This is playing long today. Stay right. Oh, just. And this is where if you are working with a coach, if you're working with an instructor, a teacher, whatever you want to call them, hopefully they're gonna tell you a similar thing to what I'm gonna tell you now. Let's stagger that process. Let's stagger it so that yes, you're off 20 and the long game is scratched. The long game is zero, maybe two or three, four, five years down the line, depending how much time you've got to put into it. Let's set a short-term goal. Let's set a six-month goal to get from 20 to 18. Then once you've done that, once you've achieved that, hopefully once you've overachieved that, let's set another short-term goal. Let's smash that process and smash that long-term goal with short-term goals. Turn it out to be like a motivational speech, isn't it? Sorry. 
And you see, this is where I got the idea for this video because this is where the coaching structure changes as well. So if I'm teaching somebody and they're off 25, the long-term goal is to get to 10, the long-term goal is to get to five, I'm gonna try and coach them first of all to get down to 15, to get down to 18. Then from there, the whole structure of my coaching may change. Once they get to 10, they break into single figures. I may have to teach them something else. I may have to teach them more. I may have to change the method that we're using because I'm a huge believer that initially we need to use your skills. We need to use what you're good at. We need to adapt to what you're good at so that you can go out and learn how to play golf, not just make a golf swing. Should definitely have worn waterproof shoes this morning. Epic fail. Another epic fail. And you see, I'm really hoping that you can relate this video back to yourself, just like all of my videos. Maybe you're five, you want to get to scratch, you want to get to plus figures. Maybe you've just started, you've got a starting handicap of 58 and all you want to do is get down to 18, have a shot a hole, maybe get down to 36 and have two shots a hole. Either way, I strongly believe that that process is gonna help you. Not the best. You might want to narrow it down to different techniques, different facets of the game, different things that you want to become your strengths and not your weaknesses. You see, I'm a huge believer that if you can get off the tee, if you can get off the tee and hit fairways and then have something which resembles a half good short game and can put, you won't have a problem in getting that handicap down to a mid handicap. Third. You can start to become a pretty good golfer. You can definitely get that handicap down to a mid handicap level, maybe 15, 16, 17, 18. And once you're happy there, you're confident there, then work on the iron play. Try putting the ball close to the flag. Try making a few birdies. So I guess what I'm really trying to say here is if you try really hard to stagger your process, stagger your improvement and set yourself short term goals along the way, you're much more likely to reach that end goal, to get down to scratch, to get down to category one handicap, to get down to four, five, six, whatever you want to be. I think you need to calm down, James. Oh, that's the best drive I've ever hit. And at the very least, I hope you've learned to wear waterproof shoes when it's early morning and dewy. Idiot. So guys, that time's come again. I think this video is just about over. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope that you've taken a little bit from it. I hope you're not thinking, oh, he's harping on again about how to get your handicap down and how to improve your golf. Just go and review some clubs and go and hit some new irons or something. Because I absolutely love reviewing clubs. I absolutely love doing tests, comparisons, filming with Mark, but the one thing that I love the most is helping you guys. Whew. The one thing I need to love the most is going to the gym and getting fit. I've only walked up that hill. The one thing I love the most is helping you guys with your game. So if you've enjoyed that, please hit those comments below. Leave a like because it means the world to me. Oh God. Whew. It's not even that steep a hill. If you do enjoy the content, please hit those comments below and interact. I do read them all and try and reply to the most that I can. Let me know what your handicap is. Let me know what it wants to be. And let me know what steps you're gonna to do to achieve that. Whew. Because guys, even if only a thousand people watch this video and I get through to 1% of you people and it helps you maybe improve your game and lower your handicap and enjoy your golf more, then that's worth it for me because then 10% would be 100. Then 10 people have improved their golf. So guys, once again, thanks for watching. If you do want to see more product reviews, more tips, more golf related things, then as always, I'll see you tomorrow.